and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I yesterday watched the whole Castillo video, him basically exposing the truth behind the whole situation between him and Trend Central. But now I've actually watched full disclosure on Trend Central. And yeah, I'm gonna get into it. So first of all, I'm actually gonna speak about Castillo's video, basically talking about how this all came about and basically them using his content unauthorized and then I'm actually going to get into the the craziness that went on in full disclosure but before I get into this video guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe we're into 10k you already know so basically what had happened was Castillo had this idea of basically um you know like that whole concept about um dinner with my ex and stuff like that exposing stuff exposing himself and the relationship and what had happened within the relationship so he came allegedly this is what he said he came to Trend Central with this idea. They liked the idea. They were going to produce it and everything. But ultimately, he was going to own it because it's his idea. But then basically, when he actually did the interview with his ex, things were disclosed that he wanted edited out. And basically, Trend Central said, we ain't editing nothing out. Um, and then now, they are releasing his footage without his consent and on top of it, I believe the episode was actually supposed to drop in April, but they pushed it up until now because Castillo released his video five days ago. So in response to that, they've released it now. I think that is extra messy. If indeed his story is true, it's really, really messy because first of all, Castillo has rights. And then we're going to put on my, I'm going to now put on my legal hat. So basically, if it is his idea, he potentially has a copyright over it, which means he should be the one basically deciding who released it, how it's released, in what form, blah, blah, blah. Like, he would be the one to decide whether Trend Central can even pull it on their channel or not. So he potentially has a copyright. I'm not going to go into copyright because... But, Castillo, if you're watching, you potentially have a copyright. But also... When you use people in videos, in movies, in music videos and stuff like that, you need to sign a, or, you, or the company needs to obtain a video release form, which basically states that I, the person in this production, give you permission to use my the footage that I'm in as and, where you, and, as and how you want to use it. So that's basically what that is. And of course, Castillo is in the footage alongside his ex-girlfriend. Um, I believe her name's Re. So... Allegedly, Trend Central didn't even get any release forms, and I'm sure they have release forms because I'm sure, like, when Ed Sheeran and Stormzy and all these type of people came on the ZZ Mill show, I'm sure they had video release forms so they can legally use it. So, since they don't have permission, potentially Castillo and Re could sue for breach of privacy, which basically means the unauthorized use of personal information and also suggests that you're infringing on their right of self-control about information that involves them, their private information. And if it caused distress or embarrassment, which of course he is alleging, especially given the content of what's going to be released, um, he potentially has a case. Now, IP is quite difficult. It's very expensive. And Castillo, you have six years from the day of this release to sue them if you need you want to um that's my free advice that was a, off of a quick quick google search um so yeah guys but now i'm actually gonna get into the meat and potatoes of stuff because the full disclosure thing even though they may not have authorized um they might have not had, had castillo's authorization why he came on this show to to, to to even disclose all of this stuff on youtube is unbeknownst to me anyways i think this type of stuff is i think at this point there is no sense of privacy when it comes to these reality tv shows or these talk shows or stuff people are open and happy to embarrass themselves for money or whatever it is i couldn't imagine like airing out all my dirty laundry i know he's really transparent and i actually like him for that it's funny but given that he's now saying this is causing me distress it's like why did you say it when the camera was on but hey ho, so basically Castillo and his ex-girlfriend Re met up to have a conversation. They've been going out for, or they went out for about four years. And I guess he wanted to come and disclose the information that she's been asking for for a long time. Now he could have been disclosed it, not been on a YouTube channel, but if she's cool with me and he's cool with me, I guess I'm cool with him. So I want to start off by saying I did not know Castillo's name was Joseph. But realistically, the thing I should really start off with is that Castillo is really trash. I knew he was trash beforehand, but oh my gosh, God, if there's any, like, if there's any, like, please, 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 yeah, 
if I've done anything wrong, please forgive me. Yeah, please avoid those type of men. With the, like, I honestly, I rebuke it in the blood of Jesus because a man like this little wicked girl go crazy, like for real, like busting windows out of car, trying to fight other girls. You know, I mean, cutting up his 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 uh, tires type of crazy because the things that he was doing to this girl was was mad. I'm not even gonna lie, it was actually mad. So I'm gonna just get into some of the things that I thought were interesting to pick up on. So there was a point where she said that she'd stepped out of the relationship, and in his head that meant, which also meant to me as well, she cheated on him. So he was almost like, no, you didn't do that. No, you didn't do that. Getting triggered, and it's like. Castillo, you slept with probably a hundred girls while you were with her, and you're here, you think you have the audacity to be upset if indeed she did mess around a couple times. Like, again, a lot of men will have something because it's free. And it's audacity, guys. I'm so sorry it's audacity. Not all, but some men have audacity because at this point, they're handing out audacity at Sainsbury's, at Tesco, in Walmart, you know what I mean, at, a, at, the, at the train station, they're handing out audacity for free. Because for you to even think you have a right to even be upset, if indeed she did sleep with someone, you don't have that right. Considering all that you've done, you don't even have that right to even flinch and be slightly bothered by that. On top of it, he's very selfish because she mentioned that there'll be times where she'll go a week, 10 days and not speak to him, and in his head, that was normal. She was just dealing with it and she was just vexed and she's going to calm down and that's the time she needs to calm down. For him to think that's normal is so toxic because, of course, she was doing that probably thinking, I need time, but I hope he'll come back and apologise. But instead, he wasn't even probably focused on her. He was probably in between some other girl's legs, which is why he wasn't concerned about her not speaking to him for such a long time. Now... I just feel like that's just, I don't, I don't, again, what kept her there, I will never know. I'm not going to lie. Given the type of information that was being disclosed in this video, I really, really, baby, I really don't know what was keeping you there because it doesn't seem like he was emotionally feeding you, financially feeding you. Like, he might have been physically feeding you now, but there was a lot, of, there was, there was a, she was starving for a lot of the stuff that a normal relationship has. So, yeah, and to continue with the toxicity, he said he didn't want to admit to her that he cheated on her because he loved her. That is toxic as well because in his head, he's thinking he's protecting her, but he's not. He's being selfish, wasting her time. God forbid he brings her back something. God forbid, yeah. But in his mind, him doing it on the DL was saving her feelings. And I feel like some men do think like, do think like that. And I think he's definitely wrong. It's ultimately selfish because... You think you're doing them a favour, but that but she has a right to know. You hold all the cards and now she's playing with half a deck. That's not fair. And he thinks that you can love someone and cheat. I also think that's toxic because I don't think love will I don't I don't believe love hurts. I don't believe love means dishonesty. Love means being sneaky. Love means you're not giving your all to somebody. I don't think that's love. I don't think I don't I don't think anyone would think that's love. And on top of it, when she asked him how many, not that it would make a difference, but she asked him how many and he couldn't even say how many. So that let her know it was several. And I think the idea of thinking that you're with someone for four years, thinking that we are really building something and you're really building by yourself, sis, because he was not putting in that same effort that you were. And I know there were signs. So I have to still give her some responsibility because she's somewhat liable because she let him, to some degree, take her for an idiot. I don't think Castillo is one of those people that is even really good at lying. I feel like he'll just be like, come on, man, don't ask me that kind of question. Like, I feel like he would be more like that or avoiding, even him saying things like he didn't like speaking on the phone, he put his phone, like, face down. These type of things are really obvious signs that someone is doing something messed up. Now, he starts talking about how in which he ranked his women. So he basically says she was the queen. Let's think about it as a pyramid. She was the queen. Next, he had some links, some other links, some other girls that he was messing around with. And then below them, he had four other links. I don't even think he got to finish his diagram because she ended up walking off and crying. Because by, his, by her even interrupting him, he had a minimum of six girls on the side. 
Do you know how, I feel like, do you know how much energy that is to cheat? Like, to have six babes. One or two, maybe. Six. I won't remember names. I won't remember conversations. I won't remember, I, I swear I won't remember how many siblings this person, I won't remember nothing. Because six, I can't juggle seven, including Ree, juggling seven, a minimum of seven. It's, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's amazing. He, he definitely is a professional F-boy because I, could, I really could not juggle that much. I swear I could not. I can barely date two people at the same time. So him doing seven minimum was insane. And I think she walked away because she actually realized that, wow, this guy really violated me. Wow, this guy really didn't respect our relationship. Wow, I really wasted four years of my life with this guy. And unfortunately, sometimes the truth does hurt. She did want to know. She now knows some information. I don't think he was going to do anything for her anyways because they're not going to get back together. Not from at least the impression I got. So I think she just wanted to, to know for knowing sake, but whatever the answer was going to be, it was always going to her. And it was always going to be high. So she was like, like, so you've been basically embarrassing me. What, like, why? Like, why? I held you down and everything. Why are you here embarrassing me? And in Castillo's twisted way, he said that, he was even meeting the parents of some of his links, meeting the family members. And the reason why he didn't want to meet hers, as in Reese, is because if he met hers, he would have basically had to face the fact that he's taking their daughter for an idiot. And again, it's that twisted, toxic, you know what I mean, abnormal way of thinking that, because to me, I've never introduced any guy to my mum. But if I was going to, this has to be a somebody. Yeah, I'm not wasting my mom's time. This has to be a somebody. So for him, he just saw it as a casual thing. And people that do that is are crazy because who wants to meet people's family members if it's not serious? But he just saw it as a normal thing. And in these uh, and the other women that he was dealing with, they probably thought it was somewhat serious as well because he's consistently hanging out with them, messing around with them, meeting their parents, meeting their friends, staying over, going to dinners and stuff. So he's doing everything relationship but no title. So I'm sure he was in situations with, situationships with all of these girls. And yeah, he was probably deceiving, he was deceiving them all too. And he was just really going around being an, like a professional F-boy, honestly, like, oh, city boys are up when it comes to Castillo. So he said that one of their biggest issues was that she wanted kids and he didn't. And I have watched um, his interview with ZZ Mills and he did, talk in depth about his family and how he grew up. So I understand his reservation about having children. I, I, I completely get that. However, and also he wasn't in a, in the, he wasn't in the right position to have it. And I appreciate him for recognizing and acknowledging that he wasn't right to be a father at that time. And I feel like we need to give up to people that, you know what I mean? They think smart. It's not every day just sticking unprotected and then, you know what I mean? What we will be, no. He saw himself broke, like broke as in financially, broke mentally, broke, um, emotionally he was just he, di he didn't have a lot to give he didn't even have a lot for himself so I appreciate him for acknowledging that because if indeed he had kids could he give his kids what they deserve now I think in the next episode this is he's gonna bring up having a kid allegedly or something like that I don't know I don't know so we'll see how that goes um but yeah and I think also with him keeping a relationship with her, he said that was what was keeping him alive. So even though it was selfish of him to do so, I think, I, I believe him when he said that he really needed her, that she brought him comfort, that she was something consistent in his life and a reason to, to get up and do stuff. And it's sad that that's the case and I'm glad he doesn't feel that way anymore. Of course, she shouldn't have been used in that way, but I'm glad he's now okay and I'm glad that Everything we'll talk about right now, he's saying this is him in the past. And I really, really hope to believe him that this is not him anymore and that he's learned from his ways and he, you know what I mean, deleted his toxic ways and that he can be better. And the last thing I wanted to say was that he saw having loads of links, having loads of girls as an achievement, really toxic and really, really sad that his worth came from how many girls he could be with. And because he was broken in so many other ways, that was the only thing that gave him, you know what I mean, comfort, gave him achievement, gave him a sense of being. 
So it makes sense why he was doing it with so many girls. Because for him, that was him feeling good. You see, like, I will wake up and we'll drink water or something. Or we'll go, we'll go to the gym and we feel good. Or, like, after I make a YouTube video, I always feel good. I'm like, I achieved something. That's what he was getting from being with all these women. Just the fact that he could get it. Especially him being broke, as in financially, he could still pull babes. So he always still had something going for him. And it's sad that that's where his worth came from. But I'm glad that he knows he has a lot more to offer than that. And that that's not really an achievement. That's not an achievement. That, that it shouldn't be an achievement. And I think that's the whole thing about the way people raise or parents raise their boys. The whole, you know what I mean, um, promoting or being happy that they have girls in their lives. And it's like, we shouldn't promote that because sometimes this is what happens. I don't, I'm not saying that's what happened with Castilla. I don't know anything about that. But I'm saying that's one way young men young boys can start having this like this weird way of thinking and how they perceive women because i don't personally see it as an achievement me being get, able to get loads of guys that's just not how i see it but at the same time not only was i, I was i raised different i think you know man, i just have different values and stuff like that and i think it's not as common for girls to think like that than it is for boys. But guys, that was just part one. They're saying they're gonna release part two on Thursday at eight o'clock, so I guess I'll be there at eight o'clock on Thursday. And um, we'll see what else is said. Um, but yeah, guys, I thought it was interesting. It's messy. I would not be involved if that was me. I You ain't airing out nothing to do with my life, but that's just me. But guys, thank you for watching this video. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think about this episode. Do you think Castello should sue Trend Central? Do you think he should have even made this show? What do you even think about the context of the show, period? Like, how do you see Castello now? <laughs> but yeah, guys, I will see you on Thursday to review part two, or yeah, part two, of full disclosure. Bye.